The uncertainty of life got me thinking about the importance of constants in our life. Sometimes we all wonder what's going to happen next and we come up with our own conclusion for that situation. But did anyone wonder what's going to happen after 1st Jan 2020? Most probably yes. We all expected for a prosperous year ahead. A truth to be told, we all had a lot of expectation, but none of us were expecting to face a situation like this. We all have this perfect picture in our mind of how things are supposed to be. And that's why we all end up disappointed. To be honest, 2020 was a disappointment for us all due to the unexpected spread of coronavirus. I believe that everything happens for a reason. So I do believe that this pandemic situation has occurred to teach us all a lesson. I personally consider this pandemic situation as a teacher of life-changing lesson. Because for us human, sometimes something unexpected has to take place to teach us good lesson which we can take with us forever. So today, I wanted to share with you all the lesson which I learned from this pandemic. Before this pandemic situation, my day begins when the sun rays passes through my window and strike my face. I wake up every day to explore the world outside the window. My day begins with positivity and excitement. But suddenly one day, all these feelings started to fade away. It's when I realize the people outside my window were suffering. People outside my window were starving and dying. I really wanted to go out and give my hands to those people who are suffering and help them. But I wasn't able to do that because going out was considered as a crime due to the lockdown imposed by the government. This made me think a lot because I refused to help people when they needed. Now I voluntarily wanted to help people but am unable to do that. So this made me realize that helping others is our responsibility. We have to give others what we have. We shouldn't keep it all to ourselves because one day we are going to leave all this aside and go. So share with others what you have and help others because it's our responsibility. We are given so we can give it to others. This pandemic situation taught me to live the current moment. At the same time, it made me to regret for all the moments which I wasted without spending it with people around me. Because we are not going to get all those beautiful moments back. So spend it with people around you instead of electronic gadgets. I hope you all would have realized the importance of human interaction during this situation. Yes. Many of them were separated from their family. Many of them lost their loved ones. Many of them lost their jobs. Many of them were struggling to get food for one time. All this situation made me think how blessed am I. It taught me to live happy and satisfied with what I have because there are many people outside my window who don't have what I have. So it taught me to be grateful for being alive. It also taught me to be strong and it also taught me to be brave and face every situation with courage. If you're feeling frightened about what comes next, don't be. Embrace the uncertainty. Allow it to lead you to places. Be brave as it challenges you to exercise both your heart and your mind. Don't waste your time with regret. Spin wildly into your next action. Enjoy the present because you will never get another one quite like it. Simply take a deep breath and start over. Retrace your steps and go back to the purest place of your heart. Where your hope lives, you will find your way again. Uh, life lies between two sides, accepting and accepting. We all were expecting something else and we were forced to accept something else. So in conclusion, this virus has given us and the planet to recabulate, to be quiet, to listen and to lead a simple life. This pandemic situation changed the stubborn me, 
the selfish me and the introvert me and made a new me. This situation helped me to know more about myself. I would like to conclude with a reminder that it's not over yet. We are still fighting. Thank you.